demonstrate how to make a two-piece mask using a serger. I've prepped my pieces. Um, it's going to be a two-layer mask, but it's all going to be, it's going to end up being one layer. So um, I've prepped it with the elastic, and when you pin the elastics on, make sure your pins are well away from the edge where you'll be serging. Um, you also need to adjust your your seam allowances uh, to take into account the fact that uh, uh, the width of the serging. So you can cut off the extra fabric when you cut your pieces or you can serge it off um, when you take it to the, to the machine. But just, just be aware that uh, you need to adjust your seam allowances. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, serge the outside edges to hold the two pieces of fabric and the elastic together. And I'll do that on both pieces. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the center seam of the mask. So I'm going to match those together uh, and I'm going to put them right sides together. So eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that outside edge like that and I will stitch it down on my sewing machine. So right now this becomes the right side. Okay, so I'll put those together and I'm going to do the main seam down the middle. That's all joined together. Here I am at the sewing machine and I'm ready to turn this, uh, this serging underneath to make a finished edge. So the last part, uh, rather than back stitching, all I've done is I have um, overlapped my stitch over the beginning part. So there's a little bit of overlap there. That saves you time from, from having to reverse. Okay, so this stitch uh, now 
turns under that uh, surged edge and it also serves to push these loops out otherwise they would have been facing inwards. And there's your finished product.